Hey, it's Johan here with another video. This time we're gonna check out some of the best free antivirus software available for 2015 and 2016. All right, let's start with number five. Avast Free Antivirus is developed by Avast Software, a internet security company from the Czech Republic. The free version of Avast was tested by AV Test this year and scored 5.5 out of 6 points on protection, 4.5 on performance and 6 on usability. CNET Editor's rating puts it at 4.5 out of 5 points, same as the user rating, and PCMag gave it 3.5 out of 5 points. Avast Free Antivirus has all the features you need in a free antivirus program including free real-time antivirus and anti-malware protection, full system scanning, as well as automatic updates. Other features include home network security and browser cleanup. The Avast interface is modern and easy to navigate with plenty of options. One interesting thing I found was the statistics tab, where you can see stats on things such as how many new viruses are added, how many virus attacks occur per user in various countries, and other interesting tidbits. Avast is available for Windows, Mac, and Android mobile devices. Avast does have pop-up advertisements for Avast products. I did have my share of problems with Avast on Windows, however. I got a few blue screens when using BitTorrent and I traced it back to Avast Home Network Security feature, which forced me to uninstall the software. As I tried to uninstall it, the uninstall program crashed and I had to download additional software from Avast and reboot my computer into safe mode to finish the process, which was a bit of a pain in the ass. Overall, Avast is a decent free antivirus software with a nice clean interface. My rating for Avast is 6.5 out of 10 points. AVG Free Antivirus is made by AVG Technologies, a company from the Czech Republic. Some free software is truly free, but antivirus software requires constant updates of the software itself as well as virus definitions. For antiviruses to remain free, the developer has to fund it somehow and AVG recently revealed part of how they do it when they revamped their privacy policy. They don't have a lot of advertisements but they do sell non-personal web browsing history, search queries and other metadata to make a profit from their free antivirus. This is why I rank them as fourth and I personally don't use AVG anymore. It's a personal decision and some of you might not care about your data being sold and will accept it instead of more frequent advertisements. But I feel like it's an invasion of privacy and can't really support it. But as far as the antivirus itself, AVG has actually improved the performance of their antivirus since last year. AV Test ranks it with 5.5 points out of 6 for virus protection, while last year it was 3.5. For performance it ranks 4.5 out of 6 and in usability AVG gets full points 6 out of 6. CNET gives it 4 out of 5 points in both editors and user rating, while PCMag gives 3.5 out of 5. Like most other antivirus programs, it's a bit bulky, so it may be a slight drain on the performance of a slower computer. Usability is really good though, the interface is easy to navigate. Features include antivirus, anti-malware and anti-spyware protection, link and email protection, AVG Wi-Fi guard which protects from fake Wi-Fi hotspots, AVG identity protection, automatic updates and free phone support, available for Windows, Mac and Android devices. AVG has occasional pop-up advertisements, but they are much less frequent than on other free antivirus programs. AVG is still a solid free antivirus if you don't mind your browser history and other data being sold to fund it. My rating for AVG is 7 out of 10 points. Avira Free Antivirus is developed by a German multinational and family-owned corporation called Avira Operations GmbH and Co. KG. AV Test has not tested the free version of Avira this year, but the full version got full points on all of their categories, protection, performance and usability. I'm going to assume that they use the same antivirus engine on the free version as on the full version. CNET Editor's rating gave Avira 4.5 out of 5, for the user rating it got 4 out of 5, and PCMag didn't seem to like Avira that much, seeing as they gave it a measly 2.5 out of 5 points. Features include antivirus, anti-malware and anti-spyware protection, real-time cloud scanning, the Avira browser safety extension and remote management of multiple devices from the Avira website. Sign up is required for that. Avira is available for Windows, Mac and Android. 
Performance wise I have nothing much to complain about the Vera, it seems a bit lighter than AVG, probably due to Avira using cloud based virus scanning. Usability is also decent, the interface has a classic look. It clearly hasn't been modernized yet but that's not a huge issue, although it does make it slightly more complex. Avira does have pop up advertisements for the free antivirus. And also one weird thing, when I installed the program there was no options to choose such as language or what directory I wanted to install it in, or anything like a normal Windows installer would present. It kind of just started to install itself, which for most people is not an issue, but it may be annoying to others so I thought I would mention it. I'll give Avira 7.5 out of 10 points. Panda Security Free Antivirus is a product of Panda SL, a Spanish software company founded back in the 90s. The free version of Panda was actually reviewed by AV Test and it scored really well in all categories. It got 6 out of 6 for virus protection, 5 out of 6 for performance, 6 out of 6 for usability. CNET had no editor's rating, but the user rating was 3.5 out of 5 and PCMag rated it at 4.5 out of 5. Panda is cloud based, so a lot of the work is done in the cloud rather than on your computer making the software a bit lighter, improving performance with slower computers as well. Usability wise, the user interface has a modern look and is on par with AVG, also better than Avira in my opinion. Features include antivirus, anti-malware and anti-spyware protection, real-time cloud scanning, automatic URL and web filtering with behavioral analysis and automatic updates. Panda free antivirus is however only available for Windows. Panda has pop-up advertisements urging users to upgrade to the full version, but they are fairly non-invasive. My rating for Panda is 8 out of 10. Bitdefender is an internet security company based in Romania. Bitdefender Antivirus Free was not reviewed by AV Test in their most recent test, however the full version was. The full version is quite a bit different than the free one, but we can assume it has the same antivirus engine for which it scored 6 out of 6 points on AV test for virus protection. Bitdefender got 3.5 out of 5 points from the CNET editor's rating and 3 out of 5 from the user rating. PCMag scored it with 4 out of 5 points. As for the software, it comes with most of the standard features you'd expect from an antivirus including real-time antivirus and anti-rootkit protection, full system scan and automatic updates. Additionally, Bitdefender Antivirus Free has Behave, Active Virus Control and cloud-based machine learning to proactively detect viruses that have not yet been discovered based on their behavior. Bitdefender Antivirus Free is also very lightweight and the interface leaves a lot to be desired. There are very few options to play around with and not many displays to see what the software is doing. But for most people that is not really a problem as long as it detects and removes computer viruses, which it seems to do quite well. And of course it has no pop-ups or other annoying advertisements and Bitdefender does not sell your private data for profit like some other antivirus companies do. Bitdefender Antivirus Free is available for Windows and Android and Bitdefender does have a free virus scanner for Mac as well. Any free antivirus will have positive and negative aspects. In my opinion Bitdefender seems to have a good balance between the two. And the thing that really counts is the effectiveness of the antivirus engine which Bitdefender scores high on. Which is why I am going to pick Bitdefender as my choice for a free antivirus software and it is indeed the one I am currently using. I'm going to give Bitdefender 8.5 out of 10 points. One other piece of software you might want to check out is Malwarebytes, which is another tool you can use to get rid of malware and spyware that your antivirus program may 